Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video we're going to be taking a closer look at the Legacy Standard Bible Handy Size Edition from Steadfast Bibles. Okay, it's time for a full review of the Legacy Standard Bible, the Handy Size Edition. I did an unboxing video with this hardcover edition a few months ago, and this was a beautiful Bible. I was very impressed with this from Steadfast Bibles. Really, really great Bible, and I was waiting to do a full review until I could get a copy of one of the more premium editions, and now I have the edge-lined goatskin edition as well. I'm going to walk you through these Bibles. So if you're not familiar with this, the Legacy Standard Bible is a new translation of the Bible that was kind of, it's kind of a, got a lot of different players here. So the Lockman Foundation, which is the publisher and the copyright holder of the New American Standard Bible, is, is one of the folks here. There's also the folks from the Master Seminary, John MacArthur, Pastor John MacArthur, his team worked on this translation. It's really a combination of them adding in the folks at Steadfast Bibles, which is an imprint of something called 316 Publishing. So you have Steadfast Steadfast, you have John MacArthur and his folks, you have the Lockman Foundation, and really basically it's an update of the 95 New American Standard Bible. So you might know that in, they had the 2020 update of the NASB, that's like the new, uh, the new NASB translation, but they keep all of those old ones, the 95, the 77, they keep those in publication. But then the folks well, with John MacArthur's team, they decided to do their own update, and they made a couple of specific changes. There, there's some interesting things. A lot of people have been talking about the fact that in in the Old Testament, maybe throughout the Bible, they use the divine name of God, Yahweh, instead of the four letters Y-H-W-H. So that's one thing that's in this Bible, which a lot of people really like. It's also things about how they, they render the Greek word for slaves, that sort of thing. So I'm going to walk you through on the inside and kind of show you some of the specs that make this Bible specifically different than the NASB 95. I, my, 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 my opinion of this in general is I'm interested to see how it goes. I'm, in, I'm, I'm kind of interested when any new Bible translation pops up, if it has staying power, right? Clearly, John MacArthur is a big name. People know who he is. There are a lot of people who are big fans of his. And so having his name behind something like this, I think, helps its chances. Like, for example, the Berean Study Bible came out. Was that last year or the year before the BSB? And I, I said the same thing. I wonder if the BSB is going to take off. Now we have the LSB. I think it has some staying power, but it kind of, you know, time will tell if it remains, you know, legitimate and people are excited about it and it kind of stands the test of time, then we'll see if the LSB sticks around. I can tell you this, these Bibles from Steadfast are awesome. So if you want a really lovely copy of the Legacy Standard Bible, what you have on offer here from Steadfast are very, very beautiful Bibles. Even this less expensive hardcover edition is very impressive as far as the quality of the build, the, the craftsmanship of everything used. You're, you're getting the big names that you hear me mention on these videos a lot, like 2K Denmark, Royal Youngblood, the best and the best when it comes to paper and quality and all of those sorts of things. And then the leather edition is, is fantastic. They have a lot of different options. They've been selling through these things really fast, so, so they put out new things. They sell them really quickly. Anyway, very, very beautiful Bibles. Interesting project for sure to, to take a look at, but I'm going to walk you through it now, show you all the specs. We're going to focus a little bit here at the front of the Bible so I can show you what they've chosen to do as far as the translation goes, but it's, it's a really interesting project, and I'm excited to show it to you. This is the Legacy Standard Bible Handy Size Edition from Steadfast Bibles. Okay, hardcover on the left, goatskin on the right. I am going to show you the goatskin one I got came in this. I think they call it the Bible Armor. It's a Bible case. You can see in there, Steadfast Bibles, a division of 316 Publishing. It's got this really soft red leather, or not red leather, but red like felt in there to keep the Bible safe. Some zippers. I've never done a whole lot with Bible covers. I don't use them very often, but if that's something you're interested in, you want me to check out, leave me a comment. And let me know. So this Bible, the, the Ghostkin one, I got it in this in this cover right here. Um, both of these Bibles are fantastic. Both of these Bibles were printed and bound by Royal Youngblood in the Netherlands. As I said in the unboxing video, this hardcover, this linen hardcover, is absolutely beautiful. There you see the gold uh, accents on the spine, super clean. This like blue linen. It comes with two double-sided Beresford ribbons. These are a little bit skinnier ones, but they look really nice. 
The paper is fantastic. Everything about this one, it's very, very premium for an affordable price. There's also some, some cowhide editions. I believe they made edge-lined and paste-down versions. So there's some different price points. And this is the Shamar Goatskin, which I absolutely love. The copy of the NASB Handy Size Bible that I had from Steadfast had this same Shamar Goatskin, and I absolutely love it. You get the perimeter stitch around the outside. Big, oh, big extra yap. Raised spine hubs, really interesting design there. Where you get one and then a double set and a double set there. So you see Legacy Standard Bible, Steadfast Bibles. If you can see the light reflecting, see how there, there's like a little bit of a ridge there. That comes in a lot of different Bibles. That's just spine reinforcement that's in there. And I think the more you use these over the time, the more that kind of fades a little bit where, the, where you use them more. But that's actually in there to help keep the Bible sturdy. But this is a beautiful blue color. This one comes with three double-sided ribbons. I love that. A deep, dark blue, a goldish color, and a lighter blue. Very nice, and then it has blue under gold art gilding. So I think they changed the art gilding color depending on the, the outside cover. On the inside here, again, edge-lined, gold gilt line around the inside, leather liner. This is one of the first editions. This, I mean, these are beautiful beautiful Bibles from Steadfast. They're absolutely stunning. As far as the differences go between these two, okay, size, real quick, let's talk about size. Both of these are five and three quarter inches wide, eight and three quarter inches tall. I like that size a lot, the under six and under nine, so five and three quarters, eight and three quarters, and about an inch, inch and a half thick. This one's a little bit over that, it's slightly thicker, but man, looks really great. The differences are obviously going to be the leather versus the hardcover, the raised spine hubs, you get an extra ribbon, you get some other embellishments and things like that. This Bible on the inside, let me just show you real quick. I mean, it's the same great paper, the same printing, Royal Young Blood. I mean, absolutely fantastic Bible that looks great. So if you're wanting an affordable version, these hardcover options are awesome. Now, I'm going to open up the leather version and show you what this looks like. These Bibles from Steadfast feel very premium to me. Again, they go to 2K Denmark they, for the typesetting. They have these printed and bound by Royal Youngblood in the Netherlands. So very, very top of the top in terms of the highest quality that you think of compared to Schuyler, Allen, Cambridge, the other, the other manufacturers, publishers that are going to Royal Youngblood. These just, they feel great. And the aesthetic touches on these are awesome. So here's the copyright page for the LSB. So you see the names in there, Lockman Foundation, you see um, Steadfast in there. These are all the different designs that this Bible, the ISBN numbers, they print a bunch of different versions of it. So this is the handy size edition. You notice this Bible does not say the Preacher's Bible in the title like the previous editions of the NASB did. So it's just the Legacy Standard Bible. So then here in the foreword, we have the fourfold aim of the Lockman Foundation, the same thing you'll see in the NASB. There you have the preface to the LSB where they kind of talk about the idea behind this and then the principles of translation start beneath here. I'll put a link to the Legacy Standard Bible website so you can kind of do a deep dive into the translation if that's something you're interested in doing. Um, they, they note a couple of these things in here so they're going to walk you through here the front of the Bible. Big thing right here, the names of God. They do use Yahweh for the divine name of God, which is an interesting choice. Most of the time, you're going to see that rendered with the Y-H-W-H. It's the name that was not spoken, and so that people don't actually write it out, but they have it rendered as Yahweh here. They have the terminology here for the Greek word, is it doulos? Doulos, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. My seminary degree is fading from my memory, um, but they, they uh, translate that as slave uh, throughout the New Testament. They have some information here about the Hebrew text, the Hebrew tenses, things like that. I also noted on their website they said that for all the units of currency and things like that, um, they use the actual original languages and the original measurements. They don't translate that for you to kind of keep it as close to the original as possible. Information now about the Greek texts and all of those things. So all of that information, I, I'm, I like the translation fine. I think it reads very similar to the New American Standard 95. That's what it was based on. I think that it. Um, I think the Yahweh is actually pretty interesting and makes it fun for reading the Old Testament in a different way. Um, the format here, there you have paragraphs are designed by bold or designated by boldface verse numbers because it's a verse by verse Bible. That's how you know when there's a new paragraph. They use quotation marks as normal English. Personal pronouns are capitalized. They use italics when words are not found in the original languages. They use small caps, just like the NASB, NASB. Small caps in the New Testament when to indicate when they're doing direct quotes 
of the Old Testament. I really like that when I'm studying the New Testament. And then asterisks are verbs that are present tense verbs in the Greek that have been changed, um, translated with English in the past tense. So, and then brackets to indicate words that are probably not in the original writings. Pretty standard stuff there. Um, and then we're going to get in here to Genesis. And then you see, if you've seen my review of the Handy Size Preacher's Bible, which Steadfast did for the NASB, very, very similar. Verse by verse, clean space, margin space, about an inch on your outer margin over here. Very, very clean. There's no cross-references. There's no textual footnotes. It's a nine-and-a-half-point typeface. It is line-matched on 32 GSM French paper. It looks very, very nice. Now, one of the things that happens with with verse by verse and single column is you do feel like you see a little bit more bleed through ghosting on the other side of the page because there's a lot of negative space. But in general, I just think this re reads very nicely. Kind of the original preacher's Bible design, the idea of being able to find your place, um, and, but then also to follow along and reading verse by verse. There you see the bold verse numbers kind of telling you where the new paragraphs are starting. You get section headings in the middle of the page. You get a little bit of red accents on the page there at the top of the page as well as in the chapter numbers. Look at that, very beautifully printed. Looks much the same throughout. Similar vibe in the Psalms and poetic uh, settings. I mean, just very, very nice. And it's, it's clean and consistent all the way through. I've done a little bit of reading from this Bible, but not, not a super ton. When you get those ribbons, they stretch out pretty far down there. Looks nice. Into the New Testament, again, consistent. It's a black letter text. Just pull this up here one more time for you. There's some of those capital letters representing direct quotes. Very, very beautiful Bible. At the end of the Bible, again, nothing special. The Handy Size Preacher's Bible in the NASB from Steadfast had a concordance in it, I believe. This one, you get some monetary units in the back. Table of Weights and Measures, and then both of them, both of the Bibles that I have, have a 46 pages of this dot matrix note paper. Can you see that in the camera? That dot? Oh, I love that. Very, very creamy, lovely paper. So again, from top to bottom, premium quality when in terms of construction, materials. Um, they have not really offered. This is, this still, this hardcover Bible is very, very nice when you hold it in your hand. If you watched my unboxing video, I was kind of shocked at how nice it was and how affordable it was, but really, really great look and feel overall. The quality is there. Again, interesting, uh, interesting new translation, but a super premium, lovely edition, um, and you get lots of different options uh, from Steadfast. So there you have it, the Legacy Standard Bible, the handy size edition, really beautiful Bible, well done by Steadfast Bibles. I would love to know what you think about this. So leave me a comment, let me know. If you have any questions about this, drop those in the comments as well, and I will get back to you. I'll put some links in the description of this video so you can take a closer look at these on Steadfast's website so you can see uh, what the prices are and what options are available. Like I said, they sell through these things pretty quickly when they put them up there, so I'm not exactly sure what they currently have in stock, but I'll put those links in the description. I will also put links to Bible Review Blog on Instagram and Facebook. If you're out there on social media, Instagram and Facebook, I'd love for you to follow along and, and like and subscribe and all that stuff on there. So definitely check those out. And once again, before you go, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I've got more great reviews like this, un unboxing videos with this one. You got to check that out. Lots of fun Bible-related content. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.